Okay. Okay, so I've been asked a question on assertiveness and how to say no. And what would I do um, to deal with that? Well, um, it's something that comes up for me as well. Uh, and that's the kind of the doingness of life and, and having uh, bad karma around being able to say no in certain situations. Like if I've got a, let's say I'm, not, I'm trying not to eat sugar. Uh, if I go to uh, meet some friends and they say, look, have some cake, um, you know, how can, I, how can I say no to that? How, do you, how would I use spiritual practice to say no to that? And that's, um, uh, the thing I would do with that is to um, realize that's a, a weakness and a, a growth area. And then uh, what I would, first of all, I would just sort of see, like, let's say, I like, take a scenario that I find it difficult when people offer me cakes and donuts to say no uh, for various reasons. Then I would try and um, do cancelling of beliefs uh, uh, around uh, the problem. So I'm, I might uh, place uh, my karma and my karmic setups around not being able to speak up into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence. With a particular individual, let's say there's a person and I find it difficult to say no to them, it might trigger up fears of rejection or I might need them financially or I might get rejected from a group, uh, a group of people that I think I need. So I just have to identify what are the fears that are coming up and try and either cancel those or place those fears into God's infinite light and love. Like, I'm afraid if I say no to the donuts, then they, they, they will reject me and they'll tell all their friends and my group of friends to reject me because I'm weird. So I'd have to put that karma of rejection into God's infinite light and love, pray for miracles, or cancel my need to have people's approval or cancel my need to have a group of friends uh, be the source of my survival. One of the things when I do spiritual work is, you know, what's coming up is my ego is projecting that the source comes from outside itself and so gets into fear of uh, losing either the source of love or security or other qualities by being assertive. So, um, so you can, I can cancel my beliefs around them, place them into God's infinite light and love. Uh, another thing I do, like if I'm finding it difficult to say no to a person is pray for them. I place, uh, say if it's John, I place John into God's infinite light and love, I pray for miracles and transcendence. I place my fear of saying no to John into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence. I can use all the course lessons on it. Instead of um, fear of saying no, I could see peace. Instead of my fear of John disapproving of me, I could see peace. Instead of my fear of being rejected from the community, I could see peace. Um, you know, one of my favorite course lessons, I'm, I'm sustained by the love of God. So I'm not sustained by what people think of me when I say no. So I, I, could, uh, I could also do that as an affirmation. There is nothing to fear. So all of these, I'm just clearing up the resistance. Using a 12-step thing is praying for the willingness. If I, if I know it's the right thing that I need to say no or speak up in a situation, I can pray for the willingness and the courage to do so. So I pray for the willingness to say no the next time somebody offers me a drink or a donut. Um, now, if there's difficult feelings, if it's bringing up panic or terror, the idea of saying no to somebody, I could sit with that. Uh, as a hypnotherapist, I can even visualize uh, my fear in graphic detail, you know, like John's going to say no, that he'll never speak to me again, and that he'll tell everybody that I know that I'm weird. So if, if I picture that in my mind, it might bring up terror, and I could just sit with those feelings, and know those feelings are a stack. So if I'm feeling really fearful of saying no in a situation, I can just imagine that situation and feel the fear out. And what you'll find is, or what I'll find is that as I feel the fear out, my level of consciousness goes up, I start to feel peace, I start to feel this wellness within me, and, and my perception of the situation starts to change. Because I'm no longer in fear, I'll start to get more spiritual perceptions as my level of consciousness increases, and I'll start to think, hey, you know, it's not such a big deal, he uh, and he probably, will, he probably won't really mind, 
uh, and even if he's uh, disappointed, he'll probably get over it within a day. It's not a big deal. So you start to perceive the situation differently, or you start to feel like, well, if he does reject me, it's it's not he's not that important. So those are the kinds of ways, and I I would see that as a test, and I'd keep doing the spiritual work until that's uh, resolved. Okay, so I'm going to stop the camera now on this and stop the camera.